In today's lesson, we'll make a kid's animation film similar to this one. Once in a lush forest, a group of squirrels and a kind-hearted rabbit lived harmoniously. The squirrels stored nuts for winter while the rabbit cared for their young. The tale was created using six free tools, the first of which was ChatGPT. The voiceover was created using Eleven Labs Prime Voice. Number three, Lexi.art for the free text to picture. Number four, Leopix for the animation of these graphics. Five free Canva templates were used to produce the final video and six V.EO templates were used to generate the subtitle. Finally, we will combine all of information to create a kid's tale video similar to this one. So if you're ready, let's get started. Step one is to create an account chat GPT. And there you will have to provide this suggestion. Make a moral story of squirrels and rabbit in 100 words. You may choose any word limit and then proceed to the send message option. Within 100 words, it will generate a magnificent narrative. Let's see how much money such a kid's channel might make. As Social Blade will show you, since they are some of the most popular channels dealing with such topics, the average monthly earnings range from $6,000 to $92,000. That is Sin, and the annual salary ranges from $69 to $1 million. Now, open Google Chrome and search for Prime Voice UI, and the first link you will get is for 11 Labs. You may create an account, or you can use it without creating one. So simply put the tail here. Choose your voiceover artist and hit the Create button. You may just test this to see whether it works. The video audio will be downloaded if you click on the bottom right-hand download option. So step two is complete. Let us proceed to the third phase. This is LexiArt's free art creation program. You'll need to sign in with your account. There are two approaches to develop a plot. You may either search for an image here or create one from here. If you want to find the picture, you must first comprehend the plot. As for me, as Quill accumulated symbols, this may be the scenario, so I'll just have to wait and look for the right, right photo from here, where there are lovely pictures that could fit me. So if that's good with you, I'll take it. Then once again, I have some. There are many options here. So if I need this one, I'll go to this download button, which looks like this. You may also make, or you can go to this generating option here. You must adjust the dimension, the white screen dimension, and then you must copy and paste the whole text. You must copy and paste here. If you choose, you may also provide a negative prompt. I'm not interested. Then proceed to produce. When you click generate, it will create various types of photographs scene by scene so that you're prepare your scenes. After that, just hover your cursor over the image and click the download image button in the upper left hand corner. So after you're pleased with the picture, go ahead and download it. Let's go to the fourth step where we'll have to travel in order to convert Leo. This is one website that will create an animation for your photograph. So when you get to Leopix, just go to the upload area and choose the appropriate picture. It will now produce this kind of animation on your picture. Once you're satisfied with the animation, go to this share option and pick M4 and save. It will take some time to save it. Keep the video. Similarly, you must develop animations for all of the photos. My download is complete. As you can see, you'll need to download all of the V, all of the photos, and then let us go to next step. Let's go to Canva for the fifth point. You just need a Canva account to get started. If you don't already have it, go to the link in the description. Canva Premium is available for a 30-day free trial, during which you may use and explore all of Canva's premium features. There's no difficulty canceling the subscription at any moment. So we'll move to video for that next. You have the option of simply selecting this aspect ratio 1920 to 1080. Alternatively, you may enter video here. We'll start at the top and work our way down to the upload area. The fifth option is the upload area, which is located right here. I'll have to go to this upload button and submit the videos that I've just downloaded. Now, in the video area, in the upload option, it will receive all the videos and in the audio section, it will get the audio. And if there is a picture, he will get it. Section for images. Let us now go to the video part. First, I'll choose the first slide, right? Click and save the movie as a backdrop. Similarly, I'll take the second slide by clicking on this plus button, as well as the second video. Save the video as a backdrop by right. Clicking it. You can only add it by double. 
clicking it. Similarly, I can add only this by double clicking on the video. You may now go to the audio part if you, if you are pleased. You can also drag and drop audio files here. And if you want to add a transition, you may do so by going between two slides, selecting the add transition option, and then selecting any transition. You have some lovely transitions here. So I'll take a couple of extra movies to demonstrate the various transitions. I'm going to take another fresh slide and utilize one picture right now if you're wondering where I acquired this image. Let me demonstrate. In the app area, you should go down a bit, okay? And you have text and picture options in this more from Canva Choice. So choose the text too, picture option, and here you may enter any content you wish. So when you input it, you must choose the sort of picture you desire. So I want a dream picture and the landscape should be the size or ratio, as well as the style you'll have to choose before creating your image. Allow Canvas some time to produce the picture. We shall go to the following section after the picture has been made. I have wonderful photos, so you may look at them if you like, and you can use any of them. If you don't like it, you can produce it again. I'll do one more thing right now. For that, I'll delete the backdrop. In a moment, you'll see why I want to remove this backdrop, so I'll delete it. So, go to these three buttons and see if you can find any other parts. You may certainly delete it using the eraser option, so you may modify the size here, making it smaller. Once you're happy with it, go to the Edit Picture option and paste it here. Okay, make it as tiny as possible. This squirrel should leap from here and arrive here to consume the nuts. So, what I'll do is put some acorns here. So I'll go to the Elements section and now I'll choose the squirrel. I'll go with the Animation option. Okay, and then I'll go make an animation. Canva is yet another AI feature, so I'll move it from here to here. Okay, and then I'll smooth it out and increase the pace a bit. And then I'll be finished. So if, if you want to add any other effects like this, like snow falling, fallen leaves, or petals, you'll have to go to here. Enter the snow in effect, and then go to graphics, and you'll find a lot of them here. Come a little lower. Such effects are available here. So this one is mine. I'll need to specify that this is a transparent effect. You may go to this transparency and further limit the openness. Once you're comfortable with it, just move it from corner to corner, making sure it doesn't take up the full frame. Otherwise, it will alter the backdrop and you will have to verify this purple grid to ensure that the boxes in the center are still there. Similarly, if you choose one sort of, you know, visuals magic suggestion returns a plethora of such effects, you know. As a result, you may use any additional effects for other slides. As an example, I'm using the fallen fuel or fallen leaves effect, which looks extremely great. So I'm keeping it stretched from corner to corner and like this. When you're satisfied, you may continue playing or check the time from here. If you like, you may adjust the duration of this video. If you wish the same scenario to be reproduced again, you may replicate the page by clicking the three dots. If you wish to provide soft background music, then, in the audio part, come a little lower and you may measure several forms of music and select any of these musics. Otherwise, you may use this area to add your own music. That's how I showed you. Okay, you may drag and drop it down here. This is how the music will arrive. Let us now look at some modifications. As a result, I'll have to double click on this. I can alter if I wish to take another section of the audio. I can go to this sound area and change the level. I can provide a uh, by using the audio effects section and fading away. So, if you're satisfied with everything, you may go to this shared option, choose download, and then download your M4 file. You'll need to check all of the boxes and then click done. We have arrived at the last stage. That is the sixth phase when we will generate subtitles for our video. Go to Veed EO. Then you must go to the start for free. You open the file after selecting it. When it opens, go to this subtitle option from the top third option and then pick auto transcribe. You may choose your language and the language in which you want the subtitle. For me, it's English UK and then creating subtitles. It might take some time. Once created, I will edit subtitles, add backgrounds, choose fonts and animations. That's it, our video is ready. Now we just need to save it in M4 format. If you take more time, you will get a longer video. Here's the final version. Once in a lush forest, a group of squirrels and a kind-hearted rabbit lived harmoniously. The squirrels stored nuts for winter while the rabbit cared for their young. But greed overcame the squirrels, hoarding beyond needs, while the rabbit struggled to find food. 
It's easy to make a video on such a topic. I told and showed the idea so that you can try your ideas at once. Write in the comments what was useful for you this video and see you in the next videos.